Hey friends, what's up? Got a new, uh, a new, new comic book day haul video for you. Um, this is my new stuff. I actually hauled in this whole box. This whole short box was full, but this is mostly back issues like dollar books, two for a dollar. So I will try to go through those if I have time after. But I want to get to the new stuff first. Uh, my fresh comic shop news. Who cares about that? All right, so jumping right in. Um, oh, I was going to add that this will be my first time shooting a video horizontally. because I'm going to try to put this on YouTube and not just do these on Instagram. So depending on where you see this, um, normally I shoot my videos vertically and they go on IGTV. Um, which their rules are what? It's going to be less than 10 minutes and they post it vertically. Uh, so, I'm testing this out, seeing how I like it. I don't, so far I don't, because you have to be pretty zoomed out to get the whole book in there, and I keep chopping off the tops, and then it, I'm catching, like, a whole new type of glare. It's just, we'll see how this lasts, but, uh, anyway, so I got a couple more of the 181 facsimile, facsimile edition. I probably have 10 plus copies now, so if anyone out, out there still needs one, um, just drop me a comment or message me. Come find me on Instagram. It's Peter Parker Comics. I've got thousands of books for sale. If you are looking to buy any books, go to go check out my Instagram. I have tons of stuff. I also have a bunch of those IGTV IG, da, 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 da. IGTV videos. So if you like if you like these new comic book day hauls, you like unboxings, you like haul videos, you like just the random fifty cent hauls and going through each one. I have a bunch of those, so um, go check out my Instagram. Um, yeah, other than that, where was I? This guy. Um, I finally got this. My shop was holding it for me for like a month. Kind of felt bad, so. Today I finally paid for everything he was holding for me, so I no longer have anything being held. That's nice. It's always a good feeling. Uh, Flash 69 dropped. It's the newest issue. I really don't care for this B cover. I think I saw a couple of videos were saying like, oh, watch out for that flash variant. It's going to be hot. Look at that. And it's doing nothing for me at all. The last couple have all been kind of lame. Um, they're trying to do these like trippy psychedelic covers and I just don't care. <laughs> I'm, if I wasn't already up to like 69, I would have, I would switch to just getting cover A. But if you've already bought 68 issues, if you've already bought... The other 68, both A and B, why stop now, you know what I mean? And if you do the math there, like, okay, 69 times 2, that's 138, is that right? Yeah, 138 times 4, that's a lot of fucking money spent on the Flash, so. Uh, if you Flash editors are watching this, feel free to wrap it up anytime soon, because I'm, I'm getting tired of shelling out, like, 16 bucks a month on this thing. But it's good. I, I'm like 10 issues behind, but it is good. Uh, from where I left off, the, the art is still great. Um, they're doing a good rogues storyline. So this one's all about the trickster. Um, yeah, I'm, I need to take a whole day and just catch up on Flash. I'm quite behind. Um, I was able to get one of these. The Queen of Bad Dreams one. It's the Mike Kaluta homage. Michael W. Kaluta. Mm. Whatever. There we go. Yeah, my shop didn't really have much in as far as independent books, new ones, but this was sitting there by itself, so I was pumped to pumped to snag a copy. Um, I got a few more True Believers as well. I pretty much buy any and all of them, even if I already have the originals. Uh, I get two or three of most of them, actually. So I got Nebula, a couple Rockets. Got this one, Gatherer's Saga. I'm not really familiar with that. Um, is that Ron Lim? Back when he was actually doing regular art before he switched to just being a variant cover artist. I don't know if that is, but it's cool. I think it's from like the 330, 340 range. Um, and that's the Swordsman, I think. I'm not really familiar with that arc, so I don't know who the Gatherers are. But I thought, you know what, they might sneak these guys in Endgame. Maybe that's why they're releasing this. So I thought I would get it really quick and read it before tomorrow. Because, yeah, Endgame drops tomorrow. Can't fucking wait. Ugh. 
Uh, this came out. Edge of Infinity, number one. They didn't have a regular cover, but I snagged the variant. There's Ron Lim. I don't know. I think that's Ron Lim, because he was doing Silver Surfer. That's right. And this looks a lot like that. Silver Surfer era of stuff. Mm, whatever. Who cares? I just wanted to add on this one, I think anybody here besides Black Widow, if they were actually about to punch Modoc, he would be knocked the fuck out, so... It's kind of a weird team up to fight him. Maybe he's got cosmic powers. Maybe what that's all these Kirby dots are. And that would be a good fight. Okay, well, whatever. Moving on. Um, I grabbed one of these, the second printing of Daredevil 2. That's the first cover appearance of Cole. Um, I highly suggest if you're not reading or picking up Daredevil, you need to. Um, Chip Zardsky or Sarsky, Zard, Zardsky, Sarsky. I don't know how to say it, but it is great shit. Um, he's really revitalized the character. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say Daredevil was treading water, but he was getting very repetitive and very boring. I think that's the big problem with Daredevil is just people don't care. Um, well, he's making me care. He's. Uh, I would put this up there with like the Kevin Smith run of uh, just bringing new life into the character. Um, I think Daredevil fans know. I don't really need to explain this. If like if you're reading Daredevil, you know this is hot shit. This should be. I don't know why this isn't as big as Immortal Hulk right now. Like this is, it's good stuff. It's a fresh take. It's art's good. It's all good. It's all good. Look at that. Look at that fucking cover. Like how is that not, dude? Oh, it's so sick. How's it taking them that long to put like a Daredevil or a Spidey head as Punisher's skull emblem? I don't know, man, but that's cool. Um, and I don't think it's spoiling much, but at the end of this issue, I believe Daredevil puts on the skull shirt. Like, he's the Punisher now. So he's like... I think he uses guns in this one, too. I was just kind of skimming through it. but So I don't know where they're going with that, if he's going to be the new Punisher or if Punisher's the new Daredevil. or if I know right now they're doing that God Without Fear where... Uh, Daredevil's the new Heimdall, so I don't know if that's going to carry into this run. It'll be interesting to see where they go with it. But I would get one of these. If um, if he ends up being a big character down the road, panning out, like Disney Plus does their own Daredevil and brings him into it, like, that, this could be a, this would be a second printing to get, in my opinion. So, anyway, I digress. Spawn, Virgin variant, pretty sick. I ordered one of these, and I'm glad... I mean, I pre-ordered one online, and I'm glad because this one has a big old smudge there. Just kind of taking me off, but it was in my pull box, so I felt obligated. Um, the Batman Beyond B cover is pretty sick. I wish I would have pre-ordered a couple of these, because I got two of these, and I think three more of these coming in the mail, but none of these. I had them in my cart, and I put them back, and I regret it. That is just cool. And I see now that's fucking Leonardi's in there. Rick Leonardi. Unless there's a new Leonardi out there. I'm waiting for the day where all the names we know, like, it's not Dan Jurgens anymore, it's Bob Jurgens, and it's Annette Leonardi, and I don't know. I'm just waiting for the names that we thought we knew have been replaced by their, like, kids, or just someone new entirely with that name. That, that's a nice B cover right there. Um, got the other two spawns. I didn't really want the this one, but I thought, well, it is the A cover. If down the road, I don't know. I feel like the black and whites and the sketch covers go to a certain niche market, like a certain certain people are into that. Um, Whereas everyone will always want cover A. Everyone will, not everybody wants virgin stuff. Someone down the line is going to want that spawn in there. Someone's going to want the Road to 300 banner. Um, I don't know. So I got all three. Fuck it. Uh, I got this Wonder Woman. It was just a cool B cover grab. That's Finch. David Finch. I, I like when uh, his wife does Wonder Woman. Uh, Meredith. She's as good, if not better. Um, and another Manipal action. That's the action 1010. This is continues the old Chaz Kent Superman story. So he is a a black man in there. 
Um, if any of that's coming as a surprise, yeah, Superman's black now, so. Even though he looks kind of like a young John Travolta. Or what, everyone's saying, what, Ray Liotta? Or is that when Liefeld does it? Because I don't see that at all. I see, like, Nicolas Cage or John Travolta. Um, got the, I grabbed two Venoms. They were rumoring that this was going to be a new symbiote. And you know what? Spoilers. It's it's not still Eddie. All it is is that he was touched with, like, a Nornstone. Or it's War of the Realms, so, like, Malekith or one of those Dark Elves touched him or gave him something, gave him powers. So all it is is like just jacked up Norse Eddie Brock. So it's not anything special. Um, don't buy 10 copies like some people are telling you to do. I thought that was an ear the whole time. That It was like a scroll, but it's his fucking tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I also really like this just because it's like a... I collect the in-the-mouth covers where people are in somebody's mouth or like holding their mouth open or... Nearly escaping being bit. And I know, I, know, I know he's in front of the mouth, but that one claw looks like it's a tooth. So at first glance, this would easily fit into my in-the-mouth teeth cover box. So I think two's good with that. But yeah, that's uh, what I picked up. I wanted to kind of open this action and show you really quick. Um, but then I think I will wrap this one up. Now I'll probably just make a whole new separate video out of that, this other box I got.